Hey, y'all. It's me. It's your girl. And you already know. Like, share, and subscribe. What's up, real deal? How y'all doing? Now, y'all know I'm up. I'm working, working, working on this internet. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And I'm working on getting a camera, y'all. Just keep donating to the channel, to the Super Chat. Don't give me no money. Give it to the Super Chat. And it'll get to me, okay? Um, Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe now. Hit that like button for me. Thank you. But this content right here, y'all, is making me wonder, where are the parents to these kids, 12, 16, 17 years old, I hear killing. It was three teens, 12, 17, charging murder, y'all. They charging the murder of three in Marion County. And they looking for another suspect, and he's 16? Man, this picture ain't right. I'm going to let y'all listen to this before I get into the uh to my reaction, because you know my reaction going to tell it all. But let, let's just wait. 12-year-old and a 17-year-old are in jail over what the Marion County Sheriff describes as a killing spree that left three teenagers dead. Investigators discovered the bodies of the victims over a three-day period and say they were all murdered at the same time. What? What? The sheriff says these three suspects are gang affiliated. However, the three victims were as well. He says they were all part of a crime ring in Marion County, and three juveniles turned on the other three. These two boys, just 12 and 17, are charged in a disturbing crime spree. They left two teenage girls and a teenage boy dead. We were shot, saddened by the violence. That's all of my citizens. Because we are shocked, not only are the victims juveniles, but the murderers are juveniles as well. Yeah. This morning, Sheriff Billy Woods announced the arrest of Christopher Atkins and Robert Robinson for first-degree murder, armed robbery, and other charges. They haven't caught the third suspect, 16-year-old Taj Bruton. The sheriff is asking someone to turn him in. We had out there that was gang-related. Have nothing specific to say that it was any rivalry or anything to such that cause. But however, each and every one of them, in some shape or form, is associated with a gang. That includes the victims, according to the sheriff. He placed them all in the same car on the night of March 30th after an armed robbery. Authorities found 16-year-old Layla Silvernail on the side of the road after neighbors heard gunshots. The following morning, they found a 17-year-old boy shot to death less than a mile away. And on Saturday, they found the car that they were in, partially submerged in a lake. In the trunk, the body of another 16-year-old girl. What? Basically, simple terms, there is no honor among the thieves. And at some point... These three individuals turned on our three victims and murdered two of them right there. They say it. the scenes, but left a lot of evidence in their week. Detectives used phone records like text messages and pictures on the victims' iPhones, as well as tips from the community to link the suspected killers. The sheriff told our sister station in Orlando that the 12-year-old is suspected of killing at least one of the victims which is why we've decided to identify him despite his young age. The sheriff notes this case is incredibly disturbing for him and the... Now, now real deal. Where are the parents? Where are the parents to these children? Y'all remember we had to keep up with our children, didn't we? We had to make sure we was in the right place for our kids. But what's going on with this world today with their kids? Inside. Simple terms, there is no honor among the thieves. And at some point, these three individuals turned on our three victims and murdered them. Investigators say while interviewing the 12-year-old son, 
suspect. He told them they picked up Taj Bruton, who was wearing a ski mask. The 12-year-old claims Bruton shot Silvernail and a 17-year-old boy and claimed he was forced to shoot the third victim. The arrest report said, quote, the juvenile defendant advised he was told to shoot victim blank or his family would be killed. Oh, so I get what's going on now. I get what I, the people, <coughs> to me, it seemed like in order to be in that game like that, you're going to have to do some kind of criminal time, uh, criminal activity. And when investigators questioned Robinson, the report says, quote, when asked why he shot victim blank, defendant Robinson stated, because she was still alive. She was going to snitch on us all. We was all going to go to jail for life. Silvernail's body was found Thursday on the side of the road. The 17-year-old boy was found a half mile away in a ditch on Friday in a ski mask and a blood... Where well, y'all going to jail anyway? Ain't nobody... It don't matter who snitch on, on them. You see what I mean? They need to stay in school and learn something. Because then they wouldn't have got caught like this. You going to jail anyway. Snitching or no snitch. Man, y'all snitching on each other. But he gardening glove on his hand. The third victim found Saturday in the trunk of Silvernail's car that appeared to be pushed into a lake nine miles what? away near the trap house. They took a life without thought. Gosh. They deserve the full extent of the law. And I'm not feeling sorry for them. I'm not feeling sorry for them at all. This is just ridiculous. I mean, this is a, a heavy crime. Never seen nothing like this. Not coming from no 12, 16 and 17 year old. And you don't hear nothing about money. Quote, the juvenile defendant advised he was told to shoot victim blank or his family would be killed. And when investigators questioned Robinson, the report says, quote, when asked why he... He said, when asked why he shot his victim... Defender Robinson stated, because she was still alive. She was going to snitch on us. Oh, we all going to go to jail for life, he advised. Because y'all going to jail anyway. <laughs> 